All right, everyone, welcome back for the episode of Carnivore Trades. Today is Saturday, April 30th, 2022. If you've not done so already, uh, please give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, etc. Come find me on carnivoretrades.com for swing trading alerts and analysis. So I'm doing a new series here. Don't typically put out videos on Saturdays, but I'm going to do a new series here and try this out on uh, specifically on crypto. And as you guys know, I, I cover crypto pretty much daily, at least Bitcoin and Ether. But I want to do a little bit more of an in-depth series here. I think it'll probably uh, help the channel out. I, I know a lot of you guys sometimes message me about crypto. So I figured I'll branch out a little bit and uh, do some more TA and kind of uh, maybe make it like once or twice a week kind of thing. Um, where I just cover crypto and cover the levels and uh, sort of my thoughts on the sector. Um, so overall, just to give everybody a big picture view here, I think crypto is, you know, big picture, it's more, it's going to be more and more integrated in society as a whole. There's no really denying that. Um, you can just see where, where everything's trending. Everything's becoming more digitalized. Um, and it, it, to me, it's just inevitable that um, crypto is going to be part of the future, whether people like it or not. So that's kind of my big picture view. Um, you know, and, I, and obviously Bitcoin's the OG coin and, you know, that's going to be around in Ether. I like, I like how it has, uh, your applications with gaming and nfts and so on so it's got some good utility there but my medium to long term kind of outlook here and what by that i mean maybe the next year 18 months or so is that i think crypto needs to have kind of a dot-com moment uh and what i mean by that is you know there's just so many there's just too much fluff there's too much froth there's you know there's hundreds of new cryptos every day we don't need any of these um altcoins you know going up 100x for absolutely no reason and then crashing down uh the the sector needs more stability and it needs to have a washout you know if you look at you know the dot coms how many uh dot com stocks had no earnings no hope of earnings um a lot of them were fraudulent and a lot of them went to zero but outside of that you know there was a few companies that grew tremendously amazon uh, you know Apple and Microsoft went down to like a dollar or two dollars a share at that time, you know, and they obviously recovered and became huge giants. So there is that. But all these little coins that have no utility and are just basically, in my opinion, froth uh, need to be washed out uh, for the sector to really mature. Um, and so as far as the technicals here, so if you look at the big picture here on Bitcoin, um, so we have this kind of head and shoulders breakdown that took place. And inside of that, if you kind of zoom out, you can see this is basically bearish chop. So you have this big move down, head and shoulder pattern, big move down, and then you've just been chopping inside of that uh, sell-off area. And now it looks like you're starting to break down. You probably get rid of this trend line now. I don't think we need it anymore. But you're starting to break through this trend line here. And, you know, it's obviously starting to, uh, to fade lower. And so... My bias right now is that crypto is headed lower, and you can see really the same thing here on Ether. You know, take a look at this trend line I'm watching here, but you almost have kind of a similar head and shoulder pattern. It's much, much bigger, but in any case, you have this big move down and then kind of this bearish chop, and it's starting to lose this trend line here. So it had a really good chance to rally up. It failed. You know, it couldn't, and now it's starting to trend lower here. Dogecoin, you know, it tried to get a pop off of that, uh, off of the Elon news from twitter the other day and then it just got faded immediately you know polka dot you know this thing's at the bottom of the chart here litecoin this faded off xrp you know it's basically into this double bottom area you can see you get the idea solana so these these all these cryptos are at the bottom of the chart right now and that tells me that money flow is not rushing into this sector and as we see you know kind of the nasdaq and sort of the Bitcoin and, and, and crypto is basically just levered NASDAQ for the most part, the way it trades currently. And you look at stocks like ARK, for instance, you know, they've been absolutely destroyed for the past year. And so you're seeing these sort of risk on assets like crypto, just you're seeing kind of an exodus I and mean, they're just not seeing money flow right now. And you're seeing Bitcoin and Ether outperform. I and mean, you look at Bitcoin's chart and Ether's chart versus, you know, Litecoin versus uh, Cardano versus polka dot you know so they're all very weak but just the best of breeds are leading so when the best of breeds lead that tells you that there's not a lot of uh speculation in the sector 
So this tells me there's a lot more downside warranted in the sector overall. That doesn't mean that long term they're going to fail. It doesn't mean I'm a, a, a you know a crypto bear long term, but I got to call it like I see it in the medium to long term, meaning the next year to 18 months here. Now, as far as the levels in the short term, so I've been talking to my, my viewers, pretty much uh, it's 40,825. So that's this red bar high. If Bitcoin can get above that and close above that, then it can really negate this sort of sell off here. And it has a chance to move back up to the, you know, 44, 45,000 range before it runs into uh, quite a bit of resistance. But it would at least save itself from the breakdown. If it can't and it fades and, and uh, breaks below this, it's headed back to 32,000. You're going to test these two pivots here. So that is the, the case for Bitcoin here. Ether, it's the same thing, but your level here is 30, 36, spot 92. So that's the red bar high there. Any close above that gives me the bullish upside bias to probably about 32, 3,300. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bit lower than that, but that kind of is the case there. And then if you lose this trend line and it breaks down from this bread bar, you're going to go down to this trend line right here. So about 2,500 or so, um, it is upsloping. So it would depend on where it meets, but 24, 2,500 would be good support uh, for Ether. Now, the one kind of outlier here to me, and this is very intriguing, let's take a look at Luna. So Terra is, I mean, head and shoulders, you can see it's head and shoulders better than every coin uh, currently. I mean, just look at Ether, Doge, Polkadot, Light, Luna is still in an uptrend it's above you know it's above its 200 moving average still it did lose the 50 and the 20 here recently but it's not terrible now i don't like this little rollover candle but the level here you're going to watch is uh 75 77 so if you get a any close any closing print below that low um i would assume that luna is going to go down to 60 bucks so that's going to be your level if you break through that um the 200 moving average i wouldn't even worry about you might get a small bounce there but it's going to be 60 bucks that's going to be your level to buy uh luna app for a good swing long but this is very intriguing to me i think it's very interesting how this coin has held up very very well compared to the rest of the sector so this has my interest here and i'll be following it much more closely moving forward Anyways, um, just to wrap up here again, so watch those levels there on Bitcoin. So 4825 um, and on Ether 3036. Overall, though, I'm kind of giving them the downside bias right now as they just haven't, you know, they had chances to rally. You see the little tail candle here. They had a chance to negate this inside bar and uh, move up. Same thing with Bitcoin. Uh, you had this tail candle here, so it, it had a failed breakdown, and then you had a failed breakout. So it got rejected, and then it tried to rally back again, and it got faded. So every every rally here is getting faded, and until it's proven otherwise, I'd have to give you know crypto the downside bias here, Bitcoin specifically, probably to these uh, pivot lows down here, and uh, really to 30, 32 to 34,000. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Let me know if you want me to cover any specific coins. Uh, any requests and I'll do that next time. But uh, let me know if you like the video, if you like the series. Uh, any, in any case, come find me on carnivoretrades.com, like, comment, subscribe, etc. And I'll talk to you all next time.